Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex. So today we are gonna call into question a very basic skill in the kitchen, something that has been established for years and yet here we are. <laughs> Chopping an onion is a task no uh, sane cook would ever question. Ah, uh, what have I done again? Basically, I want to see if I can improve my onion cutting skills. Like, can I chop faster? Can I chop with less cut? Can I just be more efficient when I chop an onion? I think there is only one way to find out. So we get loads of things to do. First, we need to review our options. Then we need to see where I stand. This is a bit frightening, this one. And then how I can improve myself and then just do it. Anyway, let's just go and get the resources we need. Right, so we've got plenty of onions for the training. We can fail miserably quite a few times. And now I suggest that we start from the very, very core, from the very root, if I can say, of the onion chopping technique. Let's start by the book, and by the book I mean literally. So it's called La Cuisine de Référence, it's a French book about all the very, very classic techniques. And even though it's not my uh, bedside reading, <laughs> probably read it like once a year, you can find in there the very essential French technique. Uh, so let's look for the onions. Ah, onions. So basically, that method is the one most people know, I mean, in the Western world at least. First, you want to trim off the root. Not too much, but, you know, just the dirt. Split the onion in half through the root and through the head of the onion. Make a few vertical cuts lengthwise, then a few horizontal cuts too. lengthwise, and then widthwise, you do vertical cuts. So at the end you get small pieces of onion, usually rectangles or like square shaped. They can be bigger, they can be smaller, it all depends on how many cuts you did vertically and horizontally. And in this case it will cook much faster but you won't have any texture. I always do medium because uh, <laughs> uh, I'm hopeless. I'm gonna perform a speed test. And that's basically how you're supposed to chop an onion uh, in restaurant or at home. And now let's turn ourselves to the future, aka YouTube. My idea is to check if I can find any other option out there. So, I'm a simple guy, let's take the first one. I want to learn this technique. Let's do it street style. So I'm not saying I'm gonna be uh, anything close to the speed of that guy, but at least I can try to improve my technique. The first thing I noticed in the video is that that guy is not using a fancy knife. He's just using you know, a long knife. Let me show you why. He uses the tip to prevent the onion from being cut all the way through. And that's genius. Oh no, man. Right, so apparently it's not that easy to master, but let's not give up. One, two, three, four, five. Shh. 90 degrees turn. One, two, three, four, five. Then whoosh, sideways. One, two, three, four, five, five. And then the rest flat. 90 degrees turn. Flat. <laughs> this is exciting. Learning a new thing is always exciting. Thank you. 
two, three, four, five. <sighs> and that, my friend, is my best first stage so far. The onion is still holding up, yet I've been doing a crisscross motion. Hang in there, Alex. Hang in there, Alex. I kind of get the technique now, but the speed is a bit more complicated. Uh, this is my last onion. I'm gonna perform a speed test, like the first one. So I just want to keep up my knuckles and my fingers, but still I'm gonna try to be as fast as I can. And surprisingly, this technique, although it seemed quite slow, just went 14 seconds faster. That's huge on 30 seconds. That's like an improvement of a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I suck at this. Advantages and drawbacks. Street style, it feels like a bit more dangerous than the first one. More rough, beats are a bit bigger. But if you're doing a sauce or if you're doing a stew, it doesn't matter. So guys, if you want to learn that street food technique, I would suggest you to first uh, perfect the French classic technique. Learn how to control the knife, how to get your full speed, control how big you want the pieces to be. I think it's a nice start. Then move on to the street food style. If you have any idea of things I could cook with like five to 10 kilos of chopped onions, please let me know in the comments. That would be super precious. And last people, click subscribe because I make new videos every week and it's always about the food. It can be a vlog like the one I did about the French market a week ago, or it can be, you know, experiment like this one, learning new skills, or also series like the wine making series or the bread series. Stay curious, stay hungry. Bye bye, salut.